But we have just arrived in Antwerp. It is super late, it's like midnight. Um, but we're staying in the Radisson right outside the train station. It is such a great central location. I will link it in the description bar. Um, sorry, it's like so dark in here, but it is super late, but the rooms are really lovely and spacious. Um, we flew late tonight because the flight tomorrow morning was like four or five o'clock in the morning and we would have arrived at six or seven a.m. and nothing would have been ready for us. The hotel wouldn't have been ready, ready or we wouldn't have been able to um, check in or go shopping. So we said we'd get the nighttime flight. So yeah, I am going to get ready for bed and have a lovely sleep and wake up in Antwerp tomorrow and get my ring made. So I will catch you all then. Good night. Hello guys, good morning from Antwerp. We are heading off to make our wedding bands. Well, John is just getting a plain, a plain gold one, so he doesn't have to get anything made. Um, but I am making mine and I am so excited about it. Um, we were here to make my engagement ring two years ago and it was just the best experience ever. And Vicken, who we go to, is an amazing gemologist. So we said we'd come back for my wedding band. So we're here now and yeah. I'm gonna bring you along in the process. I obviously can't show you the ring. I wanna keep that as a surprise, um, but it is so beautiful and I cannot wait to make it. So we are just in Antwerp station. This station is really famous. It's one of the most beautiful train stations in the world. It is so stunning. Definitely worth popping in to have a look. If you're visiting, it is stunning. I am here with Hi. the family. Hi. My dad, my mom and Jack. <laughs> okay, we're getting hungry now, we need to go eat. So we are in the Antwerp Diamonds head office and we are about to go up to Vicken now who is making my ring. I am so excited to see it, it is going to be incredible. Yeah. We're here with yeah. King Vicken, say hello. <laughs> we are here at Hearts and Arrows and we are about to get our rings made. guys it is our first proper night in Belgium we were here last night but as I said we just checked in really late and went straight to bed but we are off to dinner now we just had a nice drink in the hotel thankfully it has dried up it was a little bit wet this afternoon but I think tomorrow looks dry as well which is amazing just because when you're walking around a city center it's nice to not have to keep dashing in from the stormy rain so I'm so grateful it's nice and dry. I'm going to a restaurant now I don't know the name but John has booked it um, and I'm hoping it's nice it looks like kind of tapas cocktail bar which sounds amazing and I will let you know if it's nice and if any of you guys are visiting we'll have a few recommendations for you. So yes let's go eat. Buildings are so stunning it's so like Amsterdam being here reminds us of living in Holland so much we just love it it's gorgeous. Good morning guys from day two in Antwerp. So today is just a day for like exploring and everything now that I have my ring done and dusted. Um, we are en route for breakfast now. We're going to a pancake house, which I will show you. It looks incredible. I've seen that they do Biscoff pancakes, which will definitely be what, what I'm ordering. Um, so yeah, today's just a day of exploring, eating all the Belgian chocolate, having a few Belgian beers, fries, all of the good food and um, yeah, just actually walking around and exploring and enjoying the best of what you do on a city break. So I will take you along with me. We have come to a breakfast spot called Goody Foodie and it's like a little bit of a pancake house. So I have the Biscoff pancakes, which look incredible with a side of white chocolate. So yummy. So this is the beautiful Grote Market that I wanted to show you last night, but it was a bit dark. But it is so pretty, the buildings are stunning. And this is just the main square here in Antwerp. It honestly looks fake. They look like fake buildings, they're so perfect. For time's sake. 
Hello guys, sorry we are just back in the hotel room now. I completely forgot to vlog at dinner. We went to the Hard Rock Cafe. Let me just mute the TV. We went to the Hard Rock Cafe for dinner. It was divine. And we are just getting ready to head home tomorrow. So I'm gonna pack up my suitcase now and we fly early in the morning. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And when I get back to Dublin, I am going to just do like a sit down Q and A on some diamond questions and what goes into making your ring and what you should know before going into the process. So yeah, I will answer some questions when I get back to Dublin. But for now, I'm saying goodbye to Antwerp and I will see it again in a couple of years time when I'm back for more diamonds, no doubt. Good night. Hello guys, I hope you're all well. So it is January and we've been married eight weeks. And I'm so sorry it's taken me so long to finish this video. We obviously went to Antwerp in October, had my rings made. Um, and then it was the wedding and I wanted to do this video after we got married so I could like properly show you the ring and then it was Christmas and then all of a sudden we're here and I still haven't finished it so I'm so sorry for the delay but I wanted to do this little finisher just for anyone who might be interested in making their own ring or sourcing diamonds or just starting from scratch like I was two years ago when we made my engagement ring I didn't have a clue what I was looking for or what to ask for now I do want to specify that I am not a gemologist I didn't study diamonds so what I'm speaking will be kind of layman's terms but just for you to have like a slight understanding of what you are doing when you are making a ring from scratch um but yeah just to put that out there in case any gemologists are looking at this thinking I'm talking nonsense but anyway um yeah so when it comes to making your ring I actually have my phone here I'm going to just keep next to me so I have my notes there are four c's to look out for they are the cut color clarity and the carrot of your ring so some of these will be familiar with and some of them you might not be um, and some of them are a little bit more kind of in depth that you wouldn't really know too much about them, but they are still important when it comes to designing your ring. So I'm going to start with the first ones that we kind of would be the most familiar with when you're looking for your ring is your cut. Now your cut and your shape are actually different, but for us looking for a diamond, um, a, the cut is what you would see physically. Now there's definitely, there's more to it, but as I said, the shape is what we would refer to as the cut, whether that's pear shaped, square shaped, oval, teardrop, there are tons of different diamond shapes. So on my rings here, my engagement ring, this one here is an oval. This is the princess cut, which is the square. And then we have the pear diamond here. So I've got the three of them. Um, so that is generally what you would know or look for when you were asking for what kind of cut you want. Um, as I said, there is more to it, but the shape is what we would kind of know for the cut. Next thing you'd be familiar with when you're looking for your diamond is your carrot size. So carrot, again, there's more to it. It's actually the weight of your diamond, um, but we would see it in size if you were to be shopping for a diamond. So you can obviously have half a carrot, one carrot, one and a half carrot, 1.6 carrot, two carrot, and the heavier the diamond in weight, the bigger, the bigger it will look. So the next C in your list of things to be in the know of when you're looking for your diamond is the color. So obviously diamonds come in loads of different colors. They come in blue sapphire, the green emerald, ruby red. But if you're looking for a white or a colorless diamond, which is what I have, they are graded from a color chart starting at color D all the way up to color Z. And the closer to D you can get, that will be the most white, bright color diamond you will have. Um, so if you're buying a D, E and F, those will be the brightest, most colorless diamonds. And as you go up the ladder then to the, to the Z, they'll start to have like a, a yellow hue to them. Um, so it's just what you desire, obviously. Um, and that is the basics on the color chart. Last C in your four C's when it comes to diamonds is the clarity. Now that is something that we definitely wouldn't be able to see with the naked eye. You would need a little microscope for that. And the clarity is basically like the purity and the rarity of the stone without any imperfections. And as I said, that's quite like technical, something that you wouldn't be able to see off the cuff, like the other things with the carrot, the color, the cut, you can't see clarity unless you have a microscope. Um, so the best, 
best clarity diamond you can get will start in letters VVS1, then it goes to VVS2, then VS1, VS2, and so on and so forth. So the best, the best clarity you can get is VVS1. Um, and again, all of these are dictated by the price. So obviously the bigger the carat, the whiter the diamond, the better the clarity, um, the more and more expensive a diamond will be. But it's just for anyone who hasn't a clue where to start, like me, I didn't even know what these four C's were. It was actually John's cousin who designed his wife's engagement ring had helped us to understand that there are just these basics to know when you're going in looking for them and what you're looking for. Um, whether that's a colourless um, 1.5 carat oval in the best quality, in the best VVS. So just, just basics to know when you're looking. Um, and of course, yeah, I hope that may have helped you on your hunt for your diamond. Um, again, I'm not a professional at all, but it's just the basics that I know when I was looking for my own. Um, so I'll start chatting about my own rings now. So I'm gonna come up as close as I can to it. This is my engagement ring. So this oval here is the engagement ring and this is my wedding band. So the wedding band actually goes on first and then the oval slots in like a three tier. And I must say now, it is my pride and joy. Like, I, I still look at my hand and I can't believe they're mine. I'm absolutely obsessed. But of course, diamonds are such a personal taste. What I love, someone else might not like. It's, it's so personal and down to your own taste. Um, but that is my little trio cluster of diamonds and I absolutely love them. So yeah, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and any questions, just leave them in the comments. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and thank you so much again for tuning in and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.